टॉपिक ऑफ दिस सेशन इज द होलिस्टिक एजुकेशन विच इज टेकन अप बाय डॉक्टर सत्यनारायण हु इज वर्किंग एज ए वाइस प्रिंसिपल पूना कॉलेज ऑफ फार्मेसी भारतीय विद्यापीठ डीम टू बी यूनिवर्सिटी पुणे वी आर ऑल्सो हैविंग द चेयरमैन ऑफ दिस सेशन प्रोफेसर अमोल बंसोड़े Who is working as assistant professor at Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry, STES, Sihingar Institute of Pharmacy, Nare? Welcome, sir. He is having twelve year of teaching experience. He has completed MS in medicinal chemistry. From Naipur, Kolkata, in the year 2009, he had published 13 research papers in good quality, reputed international journals. He had completed four research projects and sanctioned BCUD, SPPU, total grant of 7.3 lakh. he has guided 18 mpharm and 32 bpharm student for their research project he has presented 25 research finding in international and national conferences of which honored with 9 awards he is recipient of the devang mehta national education award of best professor in medicinal chemistry studies in the year 2019 he is appreciated by the sppu for the contribution in the nss activity from year 2014 to 2020 so i welcome mr amul bansode and request him to proceed further thank you sir thank you so much for the introduction and uh, uh, thank you for giving me a, an opportunity to chair the session i welcome all the delegates for uh, this five days uh, sorry one week aict sponsored uh, short term course on national education policy 2020 i am very much uh, delighted to introduce you all with the speaker of second session for third day stc program that is dr l satya narayan dr l satya narayan is currently working as vice principal and associate professor in pharmaceutical chemistry at bharti vidyapeeth deemed to be university pune college of pharmacy pune he has completed his graduation from dr mgr medical university chennai tamil nadu and he has completed his phd from bharti vidyapeeth deemed university pune he has over 75 research publication on his name in reputed peer in reviewed international and national journals and he has presented around 80 research papers in various national and international conferences he has been an research person and invited for various lectures and he has delivered more than 17 invite, invited lectures in various programs including international and national conferences and various faculty development programs also the area of research of dr satya narayan is natural product research including herbal drug standardization herbal drug interaction studies and exploring the role of natural products in neuroprotection on his name have several research grants from various authorities like dst ugc nmpb ministry of ayush and cbrti of which he received the prestigious award of career award for young teachers 
of worth rupees 10.5 lakh on his name have several awards to be named the best research award 2013 from bharti vidyapeet uh, deemed university pune he has received iastm vedanath award 2019 from international association of study of traditional asian medicine he is a recipient of dr pd city award of merit for three times in the year 2011 2012 and 2017 he has award for both best local chapter award from sfe that is society of ethnopharmacology india in 2020 and sfe special recognition award in 2021 by sfe india with this brief introduction i request dr l satyan arayan to please proceed with his session on holistic education sir please yeah yeah thank you thank you professor amul bansode for a kind introduction uh let me share my screen then i will start Oh, uh, my slide is visible. Yes, sir, it is visible. And please tell me, like, just I'll move the slides. Then, uh, if it is moving, please tell me. Is it moving? Yes, sir. It's yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, perfect, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, thank you so much for uh, this wonderful opportunity, uh, Dr. Jain. and i must thank all the audience all the participants delegates without your support this program would not be a successful one because we are conducting a series of act short term courses you must have seen the brochures there are some five to six programs we are continuously doing so there are many institutes they are conducting such programs nowadays that's part but seeing the audience the attendance and it's very much pleasure to have such a good audience because for a speaker that is very much important in the audience and also interactive audience that's what very important because we all are aware that when you are going for uh, online lectures how the response of students everybody knows right it's not like a offline lectures how we used to interact with the students Uh, online it is just like a monotonous simply we are talking to the desktop like that but here all the teachers are there so i hope there will be a good interaction and i am very much happy that today the topic is not in our subject not in the pharmacy subjects but apart from that there is one at some part uh, i must appreciate uh, the effort of dr jain for selecting such a wonderful topic nep 2020 because the fact is as even varsha madam told many of us still we are not at all clear with this whole nep 2020 right when the nep 2020 was framed i think one or two messages also i have seen in the whatsapp in this uh, qap group they wanted the clarity about the thing what we should do what the teacher should do that's what somebody asked in the whatsapp that i have seen that even accordingly i have modified my slide also so nep there is uh, a, uh, a brochure or the information detail is given by the government of india many of us gone through it is completely a descriptive things okay what should be done how the syllabus how the curricula how we are going to make it everything is given and the syllabus also but now the pharmacy council of india now should take a call and which that that thing is under process so maybe in future we can able to implement this nep so that we can able to bring lot many changes so that's what the reason even i selected a one particular topic from the nep is the holistic education 
because what education system what we are following it's not coming under the holistic education so whole the expectation of the government is to make holistic education in the country the entire system education system should be converted into holistic education actually in nep it is given as holistic education and multidisciplinary aspects so, so i am just concentrating in today's lecture about the holistic education so that's what the code which i am keeping here a teacher is very very important whatever the educational system reforms are taking place the person who is implement is going to implement is the main major role will be from a teacher so this code will be very much suitable for us when we go for the holistic education a teacher takes a hand opens a mind and touches a heart okay such a kind of approach if we follow then i think it is highly possible to go with the holistic education right so the outcome of the presentation maybe at the end of the presentation my expectation will be the audience you can able to understand the basics of the holistic education then you will realize the need of this holistic education and you will understand a little bit of methodologies as per my experience as per my thoughts which i am giving here maybe some of the references i have taken from collected from different sources but most of the things is from my experience what i suggest because you know the nep for implementing the holistic education still now there is no much rules and regulation the methodologies was not at all published or it is not given or i have not gone through it so this is my suggestion you may agree for that or you have some controversies but we can discuss it now so i put the presentation in such a way this is uh, actually for this particular uh, stc the presentation have been specially made so i put it in this this way what is holistic education let's discuss what is the impact of this holistic education then what approaches if you want to implement the holistic approaches in teaching practices as a teacher how i can improve what are all the approaches we can able to do it especially in pharmacy i believe all are pharmacy only pharmacy colleges uh, teachers i think so uh, we will discuss in that point of view then in addition to that there will be some basic skills which is needed for a teacher to implement this holistic education so let me put a question to all of you what is education maybe uh, say as i already told you you can interact in between anybody can interact in between so that let it be a interactive session or maybe maybe you can use the chat box also so how can you define or how will you say what is education i really wonder when i started thinking about education and searching there are so many definitions for education and can we fix something for a, a fixed definition for education if you few can able to say something please put it in the chat box or anybody can please tell about your idea because there is i feel there is no much clear cut exact definition for an education can anyone please say what do you mean by education we are in the educational field for many years so we can have our own idea what is education right okay no issue see if you can simple way nowadays what happened any definition anything uh, uh, see some chat box i am getting answer answers like learning of understanding what is right and what is wrong see good this is one kind of definition so education is morning, learning sir. or understanding what is right what is wrong right good morning sir yeah please sir education it is the uh, it is a some process uh, in which we are gaining certain uh, uh, knowledge professionally with the help of uh, the system and understanding uh, field trying to understanding good. field with the help of professionals good good ma'am so uh, so this is one kind of definition and it is very apt also that we are getting the knowledge from the system the system in the sense the person who is going to teach the educators teachers because we are talking it's not only in the higher education 
once the education start means it start from your school studies then your higher studies then after later on your other studies so that's a very right answer that the knowledge we are getting the knowledge from the system that means from the educator we are the learner and you are learning or you are understanding the many things which you don't know maybe that's kind of a thing and here uh, one more dr manwar has given the answer learning or understanding what is right and what is wrong okay so the both definitions which has come from uh, today's audience let's compare this uh, ms priyanka kandare has given provides stability in life education provides stability in life see see everyone how their thoughts are, is working how they are thinking about the education it's something that no one can ever take away from you provides stability in life it's something education is something that no one can ever take away from you so what you are learning nobody can take it from you like that somebody is saying amul burade is giving gaining knowledge and skills very very true you are gaining knowledge and skills right we put over one advanced word as skill also it's coming under education right so there are so many definition that's what i want to say there is no fixed definition for the education so many people have given now if you search the word education the english term has come from the latin terms that educate or educate this two so this educate in latin it means to train to mold whereas the another terminology called the lead out okay so this is what in our mind and because let us take our generation just to we are we are learning we are obtaining the skills from your teacher from the school then the college then you are getting from your research guide like that it is going on then what is the need for now the holistic education so let's move you all are aware about the ancient teaching in ancient teaching how it was the, the so called the gurukul the students will go to that guru's home and they will be spending their whole time in years together they will stay there and they will try to gather knowledge this is what we know this though we don't experience this thing but from the literature we could able to understand that the students has to go there and they study and they come back to the home later on after years together so that time the students used to spend their time by doing their own work to the guru most of the work will be the seva to the guru correct they used to do some lot of things to the guru so not only the education that ancient teaching involved the development of humanity the development of the different skills which is related to the life not only the subjects the picture which shows here the only the, the, during that time the people used to teach veda and all other things but at the time there will be a lot of disciplined work you just read some ramayana mahabharata and many other uh, things you will come to know what the student is expected to do the discipline major majority major concentration will be given for the discipline as well but nowadays modern teaching what it involves if you compare to the ancient teaching and modern teaching there are there are lot many advantages and disadvantages in both cases okay we cannot say only the ancient teaching during the ancient teaching there was no online teaching there was nothing uh, the technology has been developed so people will have a very less success only they have to hear only from the guru one or two gurus but now we are getting the access throughout the world so now if you want to listen to a person from usa you can able to do it within a fraction of the time that is that is different okay so modern teaching you see the first picture and the second picture there are lot many technology involved but now we know about the lockdown online classes also how our students are attending that we know very well right majority of the students whether they attend are just simply sleeping or simply switching off i mean just switching switch on it and doing other work okay there are so many things we experienced so there are lot many difference between the modern teaching and this teaching so this teaching is going on conveniently why the government is focusing on the holistic education why it is there, there is a need the education is not the filling of a pile first we should understand you have a bucket 
okay what we are thinking i think we forgot about the proper definition proper things of aspect of the education you have a bucket right in the bucket you fill it with the water the bucket will get filled okay so this is what are you fill it with something else so this is what happening in most of the schools and colleges in the current time the current scenario what we are doing we are thinking about the students as a empty bucket we are thinking they are empty and we will trying to fill them with so called the knowledge so what knowledge we are giving to them i am not talking about all the system all the colleges all this is not like that maybe majority of the thing what we do we are having a fixed syllabus the fixed syllabus we read maybe experienced teacher will have their own practical knowledge or they read it from the reference books or the textbook then they just take a lecture and they are just filling that knowledge in the empty bucket that's it that is not education education is not a filling a fire but lighting of a fire you should ignite the things which is present inside the student every student and every individual they have their own potential correct so they have different talent we cannot expect the 60 students present in a first year diploma class to understand each and everything and if that is understood all the 60 students should come in a equal way how it is possible so try to understand each one of us will have a different potential we should discover that potential from the student and we should ignite the fire in the student is not only higher education i am telling from the class i mean from school also but the school system unfortunately many of the schools i could say the examples from my i mean i am from tamil nadu so i know about something which is happening in tamil nadu there is a particular area in tamil nadu there they start the plus 2 education during the 10th itself 2 years before the syllabus of the plus 2 syllabus will be given to the students and they are making them to read 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 again repeatedly memorize memorize lot many tests they are keeping finally the student will come up with a very good score when he go for the higher secondary a lot of issue started but still the work is going on that the residential school the students are dumping over there and they are trained in such a way that they should memorize everything and they should able to write it to get the 100 out of 100 marks is it the education so how the students will come he will come up with only that particular knowledge and when he go to the uh, real life he fail to face challenges a lot many problems will be there he cannot face the problem and he will end up in some different struggles so that is the major shortcoming of the existing education we are developing the intellectual things that means intellectual development of the student through our academic instruction through our syllabus through our methodologies so called pedagogies what is innovative pedagogies but education is not merely self scoring marks getting degrees or creating a scholar that is not an education but then what is that what do you, what do you mean by education the purpose is to build a good human being a responsible citizen who can able to handle the challenges who can able to live his life happily throughout this life for which we have to prepare that's coming under this so if you want to do such a thing the current educational strategies is not sufficient you need a holistic education so when the student is it is grown up in such a atmosphere with the full dumping of only this subject knowledge completely in his mind he become a skilled expert in particular field but he failed to be a good human being let's see some of the uh, uh, browsing history you put just think see this year in bangalore iasc you all are knowing that indian institute of science a very famous institute four suicides in the last year only recently who are they 
they all are phd scholars from chemistry department one student he died suicided then other some three students you can you can browse it this is a real news you can see that they just put it during covid because of the mental problem it's not only during covid there are a lot many things behind that things we failed to create a system which will give a sufficient strength for the student to withstand the pressure around him it's not it's not only for student i'm just giving some examples you you just uh, browse for many things just to put it in the google something you put violence you put a word of the violence how many what is the crime rate you can put it in india in this in this year 2021 what is the crime rate let us let us not only discuss about the students why not about the human being because they human being the bureaucrats the administrator the education is those who are um, present in this current world everybody they were the students previously and now they are into the picture so when that person is not having sufficient strength to handle anything any problem then his education is wrong the atmosphere how he was developed was wrong we could see lot many crime people you can ask me there is if you if you give a proper education can you able to do it yes why not at least you can reduce it in rajasthan a teacher killed a student a student threatened a teacher there are two students have the mbbs students have they kills themselves in the hostel in the shock during stress anger lot many becoming terror so many things are happening 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 so what is the ultimate answer education reduces the violence yes or not this is this is just an example of the violence but think about all other aspects a good administrator how a good administration will be framed you one administrator good administration is developed a good ias a good ips how they are coming up if the education is given in a proper way with the holistic thing then he will be a best expert and he will be a best human being also that is what the nep is trying to implement holistic education instead of our conventional education okay so so just my dear friends you please think what great role we have as a teacher we we just we are creating the future the future of the country we are creating the students simply they are coming to us that they are going there by their degree no 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 as a pharmacist you are creating thousands of pharmacists maybe from your class 60 students or 100 students when we are creating one year or two years we are teaching how much things we can able to ignite from the student in the mind of the student why not we do that i have a part to lecture i'll take the part to lecture my syllabus is getting over then i will do my i will go i'll just evaluate their papers how they have written and then go no that's not the duty of the teacher so that comes the holistic education so let me put a simple example for this holistic education what is holistic education you have a, a seed of apple okay just a seed of apple it's a very tiny seed the seed will you able to eat it by mistake if it come into your mouth what you will do oh it's bitter you will just spit it out but think the same seed it has got nothing okay nobody will give value for that seed if at all you come across with the seed you will just throw it away but for someone he take the seed he put it in the proper soil proper bath pot and he make the environment very much proper he put water properly keep it in a good sunlight lot many factors if you do in a perfect way then it starts growing at certain period it will give you lot of apples to the society right so that is what the holistic education here we are the student the seeds are nothing but our students the students what is the responsibility of the system as well as the teachers i am i am just emphasizing here the role of the teachers because we all are in the system 
maybe the system will be created by maybe the authorities or the government but who is going to implement is we so we can be able to think about that how to develop the students to give a lot of access so how a seed is developed to a big tree which will give you the fruits which is much more useful in the society the similar way we would like to think about the students we should give a proper soil proper water proper sunlight proper condition proper atmosphere that means the proper classroom culture how you are going to give a atmosphere to students what way you are going to develop them to give a good environment for them finally to make them like a apple tree so definitely that student is going to work in some other place where that place is going to make it in a perfect way that's what a holistic education so we are in a position to develop a well developed human being through this education okay. so it's a very lifelong learning completely but we are we are there in the for some period of time in the life of one one or two students one group of students for very less period of time so that is called holistic education so the holistic education is not only teaching or disseminating knowledge but you are making so many things like core academic emotional development critical thinking conflict resolution skill character formation healthy social knowledge intellectual thing everything together manners okay again i was searching for what is the definition for holistic education again for holistic education there is no defined words but you can think the best can be described in two paragraphs what i have given here from the references so group of beliefs feelings principles and general ideas that share a family resemblance or else you can put it in this way holistic education it means it focuses on the fullest possible development of your person fullest possible development means it includes everything encouraging individuals to become the very best or the finest that they can be and enabling them to experience all okay so you are going to create a best human in the society that is what the holistic education okay so i hope you understand what is holistic education the futures of the holistic education see as a educators we always we know about the basics but we put some strategies always you take a management classes you go for a management books everything there will be some strategies right suppose a marketing person is there we we know the product he has to sell it in a proper way but the marketing uh, strategies will be given by the management course what they give so many things understand the customer understand the area where you can sell understand the words how to talk to them these are like similar way for holistic education now you know the basics but we are just putting the features how to do it educating the whole student first point viewing the students as part of the whole creating or a caring classroom culture it's not a simple classroom caring classroom culture engaging in experiential learning this was given by a author who has put in the whole things to four major futures in four major future we can able to cover up the entire thing so what is the aim in educating the whole student you want to develop a well rounded happy and constructive member of the society so your student when he is going to a society he should be a complete person a complete person is what he should able to handle his neighbor he should able to handle his family he should able to handle his administrator he should able to handle his boss in the office everywhere he should able to do it i am not telling the person should be a diplomatic no there is a difference between the diplomatic and being an adjustable person adjustable is different diplomatic will be different i am not saying to be a diplomat but you can able to be very much friendly with your neighbors very much friendly with your 
colleagues when a problem comes there are so many problems comes when you go if you are thinking about your own self this is a major problem taking uh, taking place everywhere let's take an example in our pharmacy colleges also lot many differences between the colleagues why it comes are he is taking eight, uh, six lectures i am taking the seven lectures how it is possible is it coming or not when 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 the workload is shared there are so many problems are coming so people think about the thing but just think about something you just care about others then automatically the others will start caring about you so we want a happy well rounded constructive member of the society this college matter let's discuss in the third point so educating the whole student in the sense his whole nature not only the knowledge but emotional development cognitive development physical development social development this all can together you should concentrate for teaching for a student that is called educating the whole student second comes being the student as a part of the whole you should connect the student to the world the environment and their community community in the sense here what we are thinking about the community a healthy community we should think so you should think about the student that each and everything is interconnected with myself i am present i am connected to my neighbor that neighbor is connected to the other person so we all are living in a community so you should view the students as part of the whole and you should train them in such a way so that a healthy community should be formed which is good for everyone so we need to care for each of us one another so that everybody will be in a happy mood so that we are educating the children on citizenship and responsibilities we are making him as a good citizen with good responsibility okay a caring classroom culture the classroom is not a simple conventional classroom to teach only the subjects not like that students should care for others and be cared for by others okay it's a mutual thing so if you are creating a holistic classroom then the teachers should care not only the student is learning just only learning part they will not concentrate but they will ensure that the students after the end of the school end of the college will be a well rounded happier and socially competent member this is what a major part in work holistic education and the fourth point comes here experience in learning so learning is now it should not be only a bookish language it should be a experiential learning so experiential learning how we can do not all those things can be done by experiential learning try maximum level life experience and learning being as a teacher you may have lot of experience in your life related to your subject you should correlate the things with that and learning beyond the classroom and your formal educational modules whatever the formal models which is given by the university or something like that now you should apart from that you should use your life experience or the matter you should correlate with your current scenario by taking them outside many of the colleges we used to go for the industrial training industrial tour we go we take them to some of the small nearby places okay so so this is this is actually in the nep it is told that starting from the school but when we correlate for the higher education we should think because for school means nowadays the uh, students are taken to some other places to learn instead of telling a for apple they are showing the apple directly to them okay that's a kind of experiential learning previously we we studied like a for apple b for ball 
right? Then, then, then started by showing what is happening. Now the apple directly will be given at the hand of these students. It will be told, this is apple, so A for apple. So automatically the student may not guess apple in a different way. Okay, so like that, the practical learning or the experiential learning should be done so that it encourages a desire to elicit the meaning and understanding. And mainly the student will be allowed to engage with the world. So in pharmacy, how we can do all four points we have completed. So let us correlate with the higher education with the pharmacy. In pharmacy field, how will you do this thing? Maybe now we are following all the traditional thing, but now the NEP maybe it will be started accordingly. The syllabus and the methodologies can be created. I don't know whether the PC will come out with something. Otherwise, we can able to approach them or the university or institute level. What can be done? We can able to think about that. So we, our professional level that is technical oriented course. So we can able to show the things to directly to them by demonstration and all other things we usually do. Again, it comes, the classes will become both. If you are talking about only the subject, so talk in a different way. Okay, so these are the basic things, the futures of the holistic education. Now, let me put some very brief view, how as a teacher, how we can follow this, how we can able to do, if at all, already government has announced that NEP should be followed and by 2035, maybe, maybe a majority of the things must have been implemented. So in that case, we should be able to update our knowledge. We should be ready to do the things that as per my suggestion, what are things can be done? Let me put in a very simple way. So this is the well-known concept that's 3HS. That means that education should be not like a read, write and memorize that and reproduce it in your examination. Not that. That's what we do, right? What do we do now? Read. We are telling the people to read, write in the exam. That means they are reproducing. Whatever they memorize, they just put it in the paper. And we are checking what we taught, whether the student has written, we give marks. Many of the teachers, even I heard the same concept, what they taught, what notes they given, if that is not written by the student, they don't give marks. But the student has written in his own way, the concept, the same concept, if he has written in his own way, people don't give marks. That's not correct. Okay, so here the holistic education should involve the head, heart and hands. That means your brain, you are involving, you, you, you train the brain, understand that, you make them understand, do the things, but it should be connected to the heart and the practice, it should be given to the hands. So by head, when you are teaching, that is showing learning to know what is that. Then the hand, when it is doing, learning to earn a livelihood. And the heart, when you do, learning to be. So when you are teaching about the human humanities and other things, the person will start to be like that. He's implementing in his own life. So whatever we are teaching, it should not be only in case of writing exam, but it should be implemented in the things. So you can ask me, sir, when it comes to the professional thing, professional courses is not related to your human being, you are not related to life. No, not like that. Exactly, you don't look at that thing. But when you are talking about the thing, how it is allowed to the life, try to give the things. In lectures, who told, this is my, again, I will tell you my suggestion. Maybe uh, each and every institute, the college may be different, the principals may different uh, aspects they have. When you are talking one hour lecture, do you think the one hour lecture full concept is really required? Why not you discuss about 10 to 15 minutes 10 minutes about the relevance of that subject to the current scenario to the world. You make something, make something which is apart from the subject. The previously people used to say is time pausing. No, it's not time pausing. Right from the beginning, I started my uh, teaching career from 2002. Okay, from that day onwards till now, my lectures usually will have something else, at least some five to 10 minutes. Why not? What is the problem? You can talk about the students directly. Are you, why you are somebody sitting in the classroom and sleeping? Why you are sleeping? What yesterday I have not 
uh, slept properly. It may slightly divert your concept. Let it be, but the student's attention will come to you. Okay. So make some reality in the classroom. So that's what head learning how to know, hand learning how to earn, and heart learning to do. Okay, so this is what given in the NEP. If you can go through the document in NEP, there is the eleventh point is going towards a more holistic and multidisciplinary education. So they have mentioned about so many terms like multidisciplinary that an IIT person can go to even scientific concept, an engineering person should go to a scientific concept also, and he can able to do even life sciences research also. So they want a multidisciplinary. Okay, so so here you just go. I don't want to waste time. So here, the ancient Indian literature is like uh, Bana Bhattas Kadambari described the good education of the sixty-four kalas. So so that is one of the best thing what they have put here. Okay, you must you must have studied about the Bana Bhattas Kadambari. Okay, that is he mentioned about the sixty-four kalas. Sixty-four kalas means sixty-four techniques. That is interdisciplinary. A person should learn so many things. 64 colors if he can end he will be the full fledged person so if i am learning only pharmacy means only that pharmacy pharmaceutical chemistry only if i do instead of that if i can able to inter relate with the other things also then the work can come up with a good thing that's what they want to implement there are so many other things like i think in previous lecture also it was told that the first year uh, if you complete maybe the certificate course if you so two years if they complete the exit things can maybe a diploma Three years may be uh, undergraduate, fourth years may be uh, undergraduate with the research, like that the things thing and the M Phil they are going to remove. So those aspects I am not going to discuss now. That is purely N E P part. But as a teacher, how to practice this holistic education? Some of the points I will tell you what is really happening in our institute and how we can change. Maybe in coming days there may be a modules may be developed. How to make this holistic education in pharmacy institution? It can come up, but some of the ideas will do. First, to be an effective teacher. I am not saying as a perfect teacher. Nobody perfect in knowledge. Nobody perfect in having all the qualities. But at least, can we become a good teacher? Some of the characteristics which was mentioned in some reference books that I am showing with my personal experience also. Okay, so be a perfect teacher. Try to be practice the holistic approach in teaching, and follow the three H's in teaching. So this basically we should do. Okay, how to be a perfect teacher? Are a effective teacher? You want to be effective teacher in the classroom? Let's consider about our pharmacy colleges only. Okay, so first one is prepared. A perfect teacher will be always prepared when they go for a class. how many of us do you can ask yourself once i finish this lecture with the different characteristics of a teacher perfect okay so prepared so such teachers they always prepared very well for the subject matter and they can able to teach in the classroom without making boring without wasting the inter instructional timing and students will always will be engaged in the learning sometimes it is usually happen if you don't prepare what we do will go inside that that day we must have not prepared so we'll start something are last bench who is talking there why are you talking starting scolding okay that student will think what i talked i will did not say anything why did you talk then ask about the question from the previous lectures this lectures this this question you just answer the teacher obviously know that student cannot answer the question then he will not answer then starting scolding the student for more than 10 minutes 15 minutes i know you are roaming here and there i am seeing from my chapel you are roaming on the corridor or going here there you are not studying well then extending the talk to the maximum level of whether you have written your journal and scolding a student in front of all or other thing taking attendance for more than 15 minutes there are so many techniques people have 
why it is happening if the preparation is not proper then the time pass starts okay so if the content is prepared well that is the first start for your perfect teacher be positive always okay positive teachers effective teachers always they see a glass half full usually you used to say this example you have a glass half glass of water is present two kind of people are there one person can see yes the glass is half full where the other person will say the glass is half empty so always try to see the positive side of anything in the classroom okay be available to all the students you will be available to all the students communicate with the students about their progress don't talk always about their negative things you are you are not scored well in the last class you didn't well study well instead of saying these things you did that question very well but it was not observed in the second day why this maybe proper concentration not given do well so so the communication should be with the students in a positive manner that will develop their positive attitude okay they have the strategies to help students in a positive towards hello am i connected there are some power failure yes you are connected sir okay okay so they they have the strategy positive people always see things very positive negative people always have some problem thousands of reasons in any kind of work they may have maybe their teacher must have trained him in that way okay our students should not go in such a way how would this impact the impact is going till their end in the life how they are teaching see we we used to follow our teachers also have you observed you just observe what which teacher you like their quality their characters their attitude those things without knowing by ourselves we will follow them we may act like them in the life so your student is going to act like you so that thing should be practiced high expectations okay most effective teacher hello sir now we cannot hear you yes i think it's a technical issue हेलो जैन सर सम टेक्निकल इशू इज देयर एंड दैट विल बी रिव्यू इन वन और टू मिनट्स ओके सर we connected now yes sir now you are audible yes sir yes sir you are audible okay now. there was power point so i connected from mobile anyways let me uh, take okay. another 5 to 10 minutes to try to finish yes sir uh, um, okay we were at this slide high patients right
Okay, in between, if I am not connected, please uh, call me in mobile also. Okay, fine. Okay. So high expectations. Most of the, I mean, this effective teachers do not set limits on any of the students. Okay, this student will be uh, his capability only this much. He cannot able to do it. He can able to do this thing. Not like that. All can be successful. You should believe first. For success only, they are sending to you. So if you think he cannot able to do it, and if you are underestimating, and if you are not finding the fault, how the he or she is behaving, and how to improve that, then it is not possible. So they are caring professionals. who build the students confident and teach the students to believe in themselves then creative be creative effective teachers will be always creative the critical thinking and creativeness you use some technologies in the classroom okay which will which attract the students so that they can you can put it the complicated things in a simple fashion to the student they can easily understand Debate. Do something in the classroom. Debate. Interactive session. Okay. Simply instead of monotonous lecture, you can make something in the classroom. Example. You are making a debate. Uh, uh, this is one of the things I used to do. That's what I'm saying. The whole classroom we used to divide into two group. Some topic which is not from the subject has been given to them, and we used to talk. The students enjoyed like anything. You know. There's so many things. I I received so many. social uh, media messages social media through messages the students have sent i uh, even after four five years sir the debate which we conducted in the classroom it was so good which now i realize in my office when we do something over here okay that is just an example similarly there are so many aspects which are available how to interact with the students you can able to really do that one personal touch okay be approachable to the students you should have the student should should tell the things to you okay you you share your personal experience when you are teaching give some personal experience to the student so that they can easily they will come to you and they will approach you they can talk the things to you so you have seen that one iac uh, the first initial slides i have showed there are four students suicided and after that they have given there are so many counselors are available if any student is feeling problem please tell them to contact so this is happening this is highly required so holistic education is highly needed for the day time this is the time for that okay you can visit them last line i have written see yes sit with them in the cafeteria what is wrong nowadays students teachers are very much friendly with the students what is wrong in sitting with your teacher student and having a cup of coffee it may it may looks like that uh, no no how to sir he will not give respect no not like that when you understand the student they will definitely understand you respect is not like that when you are going there students will stand up and when you go when you cross them they will talk about you in a different manner is it the respect no be friendly with the student then think of then see the response of the student definitely they will give good respect to you okay sense of humor is very very important in the classroom yes whatever may be the class have some laugh in the classroom so the sense of humor laughing this is a powerful tool for anybody to make the problems very much solved solve that means the solution for most of the problems can be solved by a sense of humor okay in the name of strictness if you are more rigid the student will not come to you he will not go to share anything to you most of the teachers they think in that way that i have to be a very strict be strict no problem but totally different from strictness and your attitude with the students okay so you bring some humor into the classroom even in middle of the class also but the flow of that lecture the flow should not be affected that is different thing okay so these are some of the qualities give respect to the students this is i used to tell 
students are the main stakeholders of the colleges okay they are the major role for us so we should respect the students sending the students to the staff uh, canteen or something and asking them to get vada pav are snacks leke aao chai leke aao and making them to do your personal work this is not correct they are student they are not your slaves right so people in a teaching field teachers are considered as a very great persons we should know we you all must have seen teachers also like a celebrities we can say in front of students maine bahut bar dekha when i go to some um, uh, theaters or some cinema movie when we see it on some students if we see then they will talk to them are sir i do sir and you know in sometime when when we clap or laugh are sir clap kar rahe are sir laugh kar rahe so see how we are in their mind so such a great position the teachers are there we should not misuse that okay, respect the students privacy if your teacher is just a thing if your teacher is giving a score paper sessional paper in the classroom and in front of all the 60 students if you are pinpointing one student by about his marks and other thing how the students will feel these all people are in the teenagers how they will feel in front of all that is wrong if you want to say something remarks personal remarks call them personally and talk to them and the talking tone also just like a scolding 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 itna scold karte hai na in front of all what he will feel that should not happen okay so give respect to the students don't embrace them don't pinpoint anybody instead of that in a group you can make a comments later on if you are really interested to develop the student call in personally and tell what are the things the words what you are saying it should make him realize his mistake not in the terms of punishment way okay so these are some of the things to become uh, effective teachers which is very much important forgiving is one of the ideal character for a teacher the teacher should not hold any grudges against any student i heard about many are if you don't do the things your internal mark is in my hand dekhte hai kya tumhare mark mere paas hai dekhna hai this is this is not that this kind of blackmailing and all you should not what will happen the same attitude is created and he will do the same thing when he go out of your college he will tell about his subordinate he will think what i can blackmail this fellow so who develop this thing this developed by the teacher and threatening is different and really doing is also which is very worst when you are making a marks when you are putting the marks are ye hai kya ye mere se theek se baat nahi kiya isko panch mark is le lena do mark bhi isko fail karo no that's not a thing they are they are just children they are they are in the mature, i mean growing age how they know it's our duty to develop them okay after all we know we also crossed everything and we know that what we thought during our student life what we are doing right now so so many things experience there are so many things have changed because of the experience so similarly students will come up like anything so develop the character of this forgiveness forgiving you have to follow so that you can develop a good student in the society in a best way okay so i think uh, uh 1240 okay fine so these are the some characteristics of a best teacher what i wanted to give so if we follow this is the basic thing which we have to follow then some of the strategies which can be given for implementing this holistic education in the higher educational institutes so that be prepared for doing this thing there is no need to wait for any strategies to come if we start following these strategies only keep it in mind that we are going to create 
are very best human beings in the society then every one of you will definitely know how to do this in the colleges okay this is the book 12 characteristics of an effective teacher you can go through what are the characteristics you can able to develop and uh, this is the time i think another 2 minutes okay so the basic skills what i told you for a teacher should be i put in my way please develop these skills communication skills which is very much important to any teacher communication skill in the sense is not just like talking in english but how you are communicating through your body languages how you are communicating properly to your students how you are communicating properly to your colleagues so that basic skills to be developed self confidence if you who don't have self confidence you cannot develop this confidence of the student in terms of in, in the name of self confidence b should not involve in the other adverse activity in the classroom public speaking capability please develop your public speaking ability how to make uh, a lecture without boring so that the students will be more attentive in your class management skill and finally the team building activity you can able to develop so these are some of the skills which uh, teacher should have so maybe uh, this is the suggestion from my side and i hope we can able to implement the holistic education in the future to develop a good students in the society as a good human being so that it will be much more useful for the development of country okay so thank you so much for the wonderful opportunity and uh, this is my last stage just to quote if students like uh, like you they will do anything for you if they don't like you they can do anything to you okay so let's love our profession thank you so much for the wonderful uh, uh, cooperation patient listening and if any thing this is a very generalized topic so anything if you want to discuss or anything you want to add please add so that i will also learn from those points thank you so much thank you sir thank you so much for your valuable words and uh, the session was very nice and uh, enlightened on the general aspects of the uh, teacher how the education uh, how one teacher can make an education a holy system so that we can build a good uh, student good human being in the students and thereby we can develop a good nation so uh, i hope at this uh, at the end of this session all the delegates uh, might have understood the basic of uh, holistic education i i am sure they have realized why it is uh, the need of our to put uh, holistic education uh, in the education system and i hope they might have uh, i'm sure rather that they have uh, gone through the methodologies that how one teacher can uh, follow to make an uh, education system a holistic one so thank you for uh, your valuable suggestion valuable guidance and valuable words throughout this presentation now the session is open for question answers so those uh, who are having questions can ask questions right now by unmuting yourself or can put your questions in chat box yes participants please now yeah, please interact this is the nice opportunity to interact and share your views you can also suggest your suggestions are also welcome so please interact okay i think there are no questions from the participants some, someone one, has put up no there is one question uh, in chat box yes. yeah yeah actually i just kept time for that only for discussion because there are few slides for basic 
molecules which was elaborated but i thought there should be a discussion okay how can we correlate ethics uh, with holistic education okay ha uh, ethics in the terms of teaching ethics as well as even in pharmacy things also we can think about ethics with the holistic is no holistic education itself is purely based on ethics there is no particular things have been model models have been given to the teachers like this is the thing which you have to follow we we uh, we were grown in such a fashion that if we have a model then we will start following that so instead of that what is my personal suggestion when my children is in a school or college how i expect him or her to become a responsible person how i will think the same way if we think about other students then automatically all the ethics will come into the practices so that's what i feel this holistic education should be understood by heart by the teaching community so that they can able to develop the skills among the students to bring them up as a good human being one student can be a very good scholar but if he don't have that polite attitude all the good attitude the humanity then what is the use of that education because once he become a very big uh, person or good administrator without that basic humanity he will treat his subordinate in such a way so that people will not be happy at all when they are not happy the whole entire office will not be happy when office is not happy the things which is related to his office completely will not be happy so the entire society is getting affected by one person because of his lack of attitude so that has to be developed during the school and college life so that is the responsibility of the teacher so that's what the ethics automatically comes into the holistic education i hope that i in pharmacy i think they will uh, uh, prepare a modules also for implementing this holistic education let's wait and watch sir i think uh, uh, am i audible sir yeah yeah please sir uh, actually universal human values of subjects are already there yeah so is there any correlation with this holistic uh, education with that uh, uhv definitely that is one of the important uh, vital part universal human value that is uh, excellent initiative taken by the aict to do this universal human value okay the, one, there are so many lectures so many workshops are going on for the universal human value see that is very much unfortunate that that has to be taught to the community universal human value people should know You, you must have seen there are so many news that first two slides i have shown you if you search in the newspapers every day when you see just for 2 lakhs 3 lakhs there are some murders happening you think a human life value is in 6 lakh yesterday yesterday only i have gone through you know that's what this 6 lakh my picture has come in my mind a person killed the another person for not repay his Six lakhs to be studied. So one human value, the life is gone for six lakhs rupees. So what is the value of the human being? This has to be spreaded throughout the country, and and it is very much appropriate that education reduces the violence. The slide what I given because illiterate and literate. When you compare, the most rate of crime is with the illiterate. so that means what they are not taught they are not grown up in such a situation that these kind of crimes are wrong this is not correct more than this there are a lot of human value so that should be educated they should be educated who will do this work like the teachers like this the organizations which are forming in the name of spiritual things they should develop the spiritual thing see there are so many spiritual organization what is their work when the god is saying this that this satya dharma shanti prema like all these things we are spreading throughout the world why we are doing because through this the human value should be understood so that the crime rate and all other things will come down so now as a educationist it is our role also to take up further 
to spread out this thing in addition to the subject so everyone if we commit definitely we can able to change at least let us try to change our institute level then it will go to our city level then it will go to our total state level country level like that it will spread that's what our duty thank you sir thank you sir i want to add something uh, in this yeah in our workshop we are having one lecture on the need of universal human value in the education system this will be taken by the dr raghavin dubey Good. who is the uh, meeting coordinator of the western region uh, of the nccip aict and we are also having the uh, one lecture on the traditional knowledge also okay so uh, 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 we will again share the schedule and uh, uh, please attend the uh, one uh, aict workshop is there that is starting from the 31st january to uh, 31st january to i think 4th uh, february okay so please attend uh, that is the workshop uh, for only designed for the teachers on and uh, on every monday uh, of each month we can say that three, four to five workshops are there two workshop will be there in the english and two workshop will be there in the hindi so please join that i shall share the detail in the uh, chat box at that uh, on the friday thank you okay so in the in that book what i have shared there is one group activity out of the characteristics if you think what characteristics you have or which you don't have and you people can ask yourself then you see you can see how we are practicing this teaching practice okay because all of us we are not it is not expected that everything we have all the characteristics of a best teacher we may not have but at least majority of the things we should able to follow okay does anyone want to ask question okay i don't think so questions are there so once again thank you sir thank you for your valuable guidance on the holistic education now i uh, hand over this charge to dr jain sir please sir thank you sir nice interactive and wonderful talk and uh, please find the e certificate thank you thank you dr jain thank you for the opportunity and thank you all for the patient listening thank you so much thank you sir thank you